I got a letter yesterday. As a matter of fact, it was just yesterday. A guy named Alan Alfred. He said, Dear Mr. Dye, he says, You don't remember me. That's sure, I don't remember him. I said, 1952, you sold me a, a bunch of term and life insurance. And I went in the Navy, and you said you'd take care of the premiums while I was in the Navy. Well, fortunately, the Navy paid me enough money I didn't. I didn't have to, I didn't get behind or something like that. I came back and went through residency and pathology and I read in, in a newspaper where you were giving up the life insurance business and going into building a golf course. I said to myself, that's got to be the dumbest decision anybody's ever made. <laughs> he said, well, after I retired in 93, I started playing golf. The guy's got to be my age or younger, and now I'm playing every day. He says, that decision you made was a lot smarter than me taking up a four-year <laughs> residency in pathology. <laughs> I've seen projects happen where the contractor would want to do their own thing, you know, or even the owner would want to do their own thing. And Pete would come up to him and say, you know, when you pulled into the front driveway out there, it says a Pete Dye course. He said, you can take that sign down if you want to do that. <laughs> I understand that over the years, he's gotten mellower. It used to be like, you don't do it, I'm walking off the job. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you one more time. <laughs> he's gonna follow the grade of this thing, but it, it'll, okay. it'll blend in back right. there someplace. Well, you know, he has such a fantastic imagination. I don't ever think he's ever seen a piece of dirt not finished in his own mind. He looks at it, and I think he sees it with grass and a flag on the green. She was in school in a place called Rollins College, and right after the war, I ended up down there. And I saw him, and I thought, oh, isn't that guy cute? And I kind of followed him out, and then he paid, and, and I, I lost him. And then I went out to the golf course, and there he was. So I let him chase me for till he caught me. I've rebuilt Harbor Town three times now. And I've built, this is the third time for Players Club. And I rebuilt the ocean course once, took a stick three times, and then I rebuilt Casa, the Teeth of Dog big time last summer. And it really is a lot better. And you're famous, obviously, for the 17th hole at, at the TPC. Is there any hole like this that may get you an infamous reputation like you have for that? Well, they, they got the 15th hole down here. It's as different as the par three as I've ever seen in my life. But the 17th hole, I can't even take credit for it. Alice, my wife, is the one that came up with it. So I'm just a hanger on. That's all I am. Well, it, it is a reflection of, of, of what I know of, of Pete's own game, which is, you know, he's like a two handicap, and he always hits his shots within two feet of where he, he wants to hit it. And so he builds his golf courses to challenge your accuracy in golf because that's what he believes golf should be. Everybody seems to talk a lot more than I do. What do you want me to say? I gotta say something. You're a pretty girl, there you go. <laughs>